releases all the toxins into the atmosphere and makes you want to cry and whine. If you take onions and stick them in ice water for 10 minutes and then pull them out and then cut them up, it tends to, to help hold down the elements, freeze up, and it doesn't release the pores into the atmosphere as much, which can irritate your eyes. However, what we're going to do is we're going to first sharpen our knife. That's always step one. Now, we're going to take the onion claw technique. Slice off, discard the leaf end. Now, I could cut this nub off, but instead, I'm going to take the slice I just made and lay it down flat. Take my knife, claw technique again, and just like the cabbage, we're going to cut through the center core of this nub. We're going to push through. Always push through your technique. Okay? Now we have two halves. Now we take this half and we completely just disregard, we peel off the outward. Now on, on, when you're cooking roasts or meat or, or large meat elements, you can literally keep the skin right on, cut them in half and just throw them in there because they're designed to, with the heat, they're designed to uh, provide great moisture and texture and you can even get yourself some pan sauces out of the leftover uh, elements after they've cooked down on to the pot or pan that you're using. Anyhow, now that we got the onion all peeled off, we still have this nub. Now, one of the techniques that we like to use on the nub is to cut a small V, just like the cabbage, and literally eliminate this bitter nub. Thank 
mistakes on how to handle the onion. Now, another good understanding of the onion is, again, we cut the leaf side off, disregard that, cut the nub with a claw technique in half, like so. Then we completely peel the onion again, as you're seeing here. I like to have my pretty darn peeled off. That's just the way I am. Okay, now, again, we cut the same technique off, the nub. And this time, we set it at a, the onion at a half moon, and we shave, we shave off.